The Amazing Race was just a whole month of nonstop uh, sleep deprivation, you know, lack of eating, and then physically bearing, uh, traveling, jet lag, all that stuff. So uh, whenever I got back into the United States, um, it was just very relaxing to be home. Um, been very relaxing. Obviously, I had school and uh, finals and had to do all that work, but uh, that doesn't compare to traveling the world. So um, it's been very relaxed. A big thing I'll take from The Amazing Grace is definitely uh, the people I met, the things I got to see, and the things I got to experience, just along the lines of every contestant was honestly so great, so nice. Um, we keep in touch, we have like a group chat with all of us, and I keep in touch with a, a few individual uh, contestants. It's made me appreciate life more, and I think it's made me appreciate uh, different people and different customs. Since The Amazing Race, though, I've been contacted by, we've kind of have a family thing going on where they, I guess they didn't realize that we had such a large family, so they want to incorporate that as well. But uh, just things along Disney, um, TLC, MTV, and a few other uh, networks are looking into um, potential other reality things, and um, we'll be doing auditions and stuff out there in L.A. while we're out. So My, my family and I, we were actually just in L.A. for the... Uh, Finale, we, there was like a big finale party with all the cast and stuff. And uh, one of the days we went to Santa Monica Pier. And while we were there, my mom and I got recognized maybe four or five different times. Just, you know, all the way on the West Coast for the Amazing Grace. So, 